Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on, what page are we working on? Page six. Page six. So, uh, this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack, and this is going to be the mat for our page, and then we're going to uh, install a waterfall on top of it. So, a simple page. I haven't done a waterfall in a long time, so I thought I'd do one in this album. Okay, just want to make sure I'm right side up, and I am. So our waterfall, there's going to be four flaps, and they are four and a half by five, four and a half by five. So they're large, so you can easily put a four by four and have a nice mat around it. Okay, I'm just butting these all up together to determine where I want to install this. And it looks like I'm going to have a half inch on the top and a half inch on the bottom. So let me double check that. That's the way it should work. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick reference line on the top. I did that. Now I'm not so sure. I'm going to use these bubbles as a guide. So I'm going to install it. Right here. And I'm going to come across. I think I want to start at about an inch. Okay, so I'm coming a half inch down and about an inch inside. Um, I went ahead and put the covers on these. And then there's a magnet under this one right here. So it is about an inch in and maybe an inch and a half from the bottom, and it's uh, going to come in from the right-hand side. Okay, that looks good. Oh, shoot. I meant to install... I meant to install this. Where's my matching this one. So this has a little flap on it and this is going to have a magnet in it and it's going to hold everything down. Um, so I really need to tuck this little bit, this little bit of a flap underneath here. So I took, so we're going to come across about an inch and I want my balloon slightly offset. So my hinge should be right here. Luckily, it's only maybe one inch wide. I should be able to slide that under there with little to no effort. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I just lifted that and I'm going to slide that in. And then this is going to be the piece that holds it all together. Right now, I don't have this laid on it. Um, I'm gonna wait. So I've already card stocked back this once. This will be the second time, so it should be nice and rigid to use as a, um, a fastener. Okay, looks good. Sorry, I gotta turn it over so I can see my line. The first one's a little fussy after you get that one in, everything else falls into place because you just use your hinge here as the guide for the next one you lay down. I'm going to turn it around. It's just easier. Otherwise, you're just going to see the top of my head.
Okay, there we go. So, mm, that's awfully close to the edge. I think I'm gonna shift this down a little. So I don't want to put it on this side because it won't be covered up. This is the side that'll be covered up. So what I'm going to do is add my magnet like so, and then get some tape under it. Ooh, that's too big. And then we'll glue this down. Actually, I don't think I need tape now that I think about it. I'm just gonna leave it like so and just put some scotch tape on it. And that will soften the edges a little. Okay, now we're just gonna glue this on. And this could have just been a rectangular pattern, but I just thought it was really cute with the, the balloon. Just kind of adds a little something. Okay, here we go. So it's um, two layers of black cardstock that the magnet is sandwiched between, and then one layer of design paper. There we go. All right, now I have a couple of other things that are gonna really make this pop. I'm going to add, um, this was fussy cut from the 12 by 12. I'm gonna add this here. And it, as you can see, it's black cardstock on the back. Makes it a little more rigid. Also makes it pop out a little bit more on the edges. Just making sure everything is burnished down. That's sticking up a little. I'm gonna add a drop of glue so I don't have to worry about that corner getting snagged on anything. Okay, lovely. All right, so that is pretty much page six. I do want to decorate the flip side. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I've got these black cats and they are inked and ready to go.
Okay, I feel like we need to put a little something something here and I want it to be hidden when the flap is closed. So I am going to pick a couple of cards to tuck in here so that when you open it up, you see something. So I think I'm going to do the little one down and then, yeah. So I'm just going to do the two corners. Like so. Press that down. And stash a couple of cards in there. Um, this is also a great place for um, a little bit of journaling. I may come back and cover this with something. I'm not sure. For now, I'm just going to leave it as is. So that's page six, guys. I hope you enjoyed the waterfall and the fun closure. Uh, I'll be back shortly with page seven. <laughs>